we were playing at the Fillmore West. It was our first gig, and Son sent me these amps. It was Jimi Hendrix's old amps, Retolex, you know, whatever, Noel, I don't know. I opened the box. It's a Sun Coliseum PA head. I said, what the hell am I going to do with this? I had no choice. We were playing that night, you know, Mountain's first gig. <laughs> and uh, it was a PA head. Uh-huh. Are you ready for me to finish this? Go for Four it. Four mic inputs and one master. Gotcha. I plugged into the mic input. It was the first amp with the preamp. Gain, master volume. Overdrove the daylight out. That was the secret to that sound. All these guys would call me George Lynch. What, what model son was it? You know, I said, you can look till you're blue in the face. It was a PA head. So you didn't tell anybody about that? Well, no, I did. It said right on it. Coliseum PA head. Jeez. PA. And then son said, well, Leslie, yeah, you know, everybody wants this... We're going to redesign it. I said, well, what are you redesigning? Just put it in another box and say right. guitar. And they screwed it all up. Well, I bet you were surprised when you heard what that sounded like. Unbelievable, because it was the first amp with master and gain. Yeah, you put in one, one of those mic inputs and, you know. I used it for uh, all of that early mountain stuff. Um, this theme from Imaginary Western, Mississippi Queen, Nantucket Slayer, and then... It wasn't so, it was great for lead, you know, but the chords were a little muddy, and then I switched to, I think it's Marshalls and Stramps, which were German uh, amps and so on and so forth. And now I have my own amps, Buddha. Yeah, And uh, nice amps. Oh, serious. <laughs> nice amps. You haven't heard this one yet? No. It goes to 11 and uh, <laughs> um, there's uh, two, Two by twelves and two four by twelves. I don't even use the four by twelves. Yeah. yeah. I think the volume is on two or three. It's forty-five watt heads. I mean, uh, it's really. Uh, yeah, we we worked on trying to get it to sound like combinations of everything I've used. You know. Well, our agent was Jimi Hendrix's agent. Oh so, really? Oh yeah, Ron Terry. He, I didn't know that. That's how we get on the show. And we were in San Francisco and we heard about what was going on back there, you know, just finishing that film all west and uh, Winterland and we saw the newspaper stuff about Woodstock and we, well, we rented our own helicopter because it's the only way to get really? there from New York. And we took off from 60th Street or Manhattan on the east side and got up there and I saw these, all these hundreds of thousands of people and I was like, whoa, what the hell is this? And I was really nervous, you know, but you couldn't really see them all when you were playing. We got a good spot, too. We went on just before it was getting dark on Saturday night, the really nice night, you know, no rain, no nothing. And after that, I got to see every, all the other groups. Creedence, The Who, Sly, and Family Stone. Couldn't leave till the morning because the helicopter pilot would not fly at night. He didn't want to hit and crash into the mountains. Oh. So I got to see everybody. Our film got lost and burned. Is that what know? happened? Yeah. Well, I mean, Woodstock too, but Eddie Kramer recently called me uh, and said that they found some footage and he said it looked great. Really? Yeah, so they're trying to get, I mean, this is the 40th anniversary coming up next summer. So hopefully they're going to, you know, because I heard the track, the music sounds great. I do know this, that when we went on, I had my two stacks of those sons and Felix had two stacks of those sons. And when I did my guitar solo, one of the roadies hooked me up into all of them. Wow. And I heard the guitar come on and it almost scared me to death. I said, gee whiz, you know, this sounds really, really big. I said, I want to sound like this all the time. I don't want to make people go deaf. I don't want the sound to be a hurting sound. I never really, you know, I, I played loud, but it wasn't that piercing. I hate that, you know. 